How you doing today, guys? We're in the shop again. Um, today we're going to be doing the first casting in my new pressure pot. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using this and this to let's get these together so that you guys can. And then you know I'll obviously crank down on that. And then this is going to be our mold. We'll fill this with resin. Put it in our pressure pot, let it sit there up to pressure for probably about an hour and a half, maybe two hours because it's cold out here today. And uh, we'll see if we can come up with something. So, guys, I'll see you on the other side and we'll get this thing started. guys first thing is we need to prep our our mold so in this case it's just a piece of PVC you can see it's all frayed and it has you know it's all burred up you want to make sure that whatever you're casting in is is you know clean and dust free as possible so in my shop that's going to be a little bit of an issue so um, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take my deburring tool and clean it up. I'm just going to go around. And as you can see, we have a nice little, I don't know if you can tell, but we have a little chamfer right on there. Now we'll do the same thing going around the outside. The outside might be easier for you guys to see the chamfer on. And I don't know how much gut uh, you guys and gals would need something like this, but this is basically just the machinist deburring tool. That's a little carbide insert right there. And I like it because it extends if I need to deburr something on the inside or whatever. So I'm going to deburr both ends and then we'll have to wipe them out, you know, because we got to be clean and dust free. made it all the way around so ah, now you can see I got stuff all over me so you can see I'm going to use the factory cut edge because it's straighter than mine and you can see how we have a nice little chamfer on the inside there so that's what's going to go into this so I've already sprayed mold release in it and mold conditioner so what I need to do now is just wipe out the little bit of extra that's in there and we'll get this thing put together and I'll be back when we have the resin out here and ready to go. All right, so here we are. I'm going to start mixing and we need to mix these in equal parts by weight. So as you can see there, it says equal parts by weight, blah, 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 blah. So um, I'm going to measure it in grams. So I'll switch my scale over to grams. And you see the little G comes up where it grams. So we're going to put our cup on there because we want to zero it out because we don't want that involved in the weight. So we're going to zero that out. And we need to do this in equal parts. And this is about 400 grams. And I'm figuring that's probably about how much we're going to need. So we're going to do, since we're doing two different colors, we're going to be doing 100 of each in the red and 100 of each in the black. So... Let's get to it because I'm actually going to be using three different colors. I'm going to be using red, black, and also a pearl. So let's get to it. And here's my stir. Not the best stir, but it works great. I've used it before. I know I'm going to get flack for it, but here we go. I 
I guess I, since I'm going to be using so much of this, I can take the lid off. So we're going to go up to 100 grams. All right, I'm 105, so I want to make sure I use 105 of the other one. This one I'm definitely going to have to cut the top off of because part B gets a uh, little temperamental when it's in the cold. All right, so now we're going to go in this and we're going to go to 210. As you can see, part B definitely is thicker than the other ones. So we're going to want to go to 210 with this one because we were 105 with the other one. Slow down so we don't go over and don't have to keep going back and forth with them. That should be it for that one. All right, that brings us to 209. So we're gonna take that off. We're gonna have to stir that up. So once again, we're going to go to 100 on this one. We have about seven minutes to play with this. All right, we're at 102 with that. So now we want to go to 204 with this. made a mess but we are right at 204 so I will take my glove off because I don't want to do make a mess on everything and now we're going to put our colors in one at a time one is going to be red uh, maybe a hair more and then the other one will be black I will And I'm going to use the same mixer because these are going to get poured in together. So it's not really going to make that much of a difference. Pearl X powder. Well, not Pearl X powder, but it's a pearl powder. So now we need to just mix all these. And since I have a pressure pot now, it doesn't really matter too much if I uh, incorporate air into this. So from what I'm seeing, I think I'm going to need... A little bit more of the red. You want to make sure you scrape the sides, get everything off of them. Scraping the bottom constantly. Yeah, I think I need a little bit more red in there. That might be actually too much red. Actually, that looks beautiful. That's really the color I was kind of going for. And you see I'm scraping the bottom, going through the middle, getting everything off the bottom. And I'm just going to be pouring these out of here, so I'm not really worried if I get a little bit of mix in with the black. At least the red color I'm not. Whoa. And that, my friends, is why you should wear glasses when you do this. Yep. 
and you can feel it heating up in your hand because that's a uh, chemical reaction. Ah, uh, looks, I think, I think I might need a hair more black with this. Nah, that black looks good. So scraping the bottom, scraping the side the whole time. Yeah, we need a little bit more black. Now, mind you, we don't really have a ton of time to work with this, but you do have plenty. You know, I mean, you can't be lollygagging or anything, but... Scraping the bottoms, scraping the sides. All right, there we go. Now I'll set this off to the side, and now we will grab our vessel, and now we just start pouring. Here we go. One black in the bottom, then red. all that in there. Let's get the black in there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this in and just give it a little bit of a mix in here. Just to kind of swirl them colors together. Get that off there and now this is where we put it in our pressure pot and then we bring it up the pressure so as you can see I got to do this pretty quick because I only have a, another minute or two because the pressure pot is going to make sure that I don't have air in it tire or a car get them good and tight pop our airline on and then bring it up to about 50 pounds of pressure and this is going to get a little noisy guys So it's pressurized, it's going to sit in there for about 45 minutes to an hour, I believe is the demold time on this. Uh, let me see. Um, demold time is 45 minutes to an hour and a half. So an hour and a half, we'll come back and we'll see what we got. Um, this is actually going to be a two-part pour for me because I have the swirled colors at the bottom and then I want about an inch of solid black at the bottom of that. So... You know, I'll, I'll get that on and then I'll see uh, see you guys when I demold this thing. All right, guys, here we are. We're back. I have, as you can see, I have this and it's out of the pot. So um, let's see what we can do about possibly getting this out of the mold. 
So here we go. I'll bring you down here. Let me tilt you down a little bit. Keep you up that way. There you go. And let's see what we have. First thing, we have to take off our band. Now, mind you, I don't know if this rubber is going to come off or if that's even going to come off. I might have to turn it all off in my lathe. So let's see what we got. Let's take this all the way off. All right. So now you can see it's loose on the outside, which is a good thing. And look at that. It actually came off. That was the problem. I, I must not have gotten all the mold release around the outside, so it stuck a little bit there. And now, all I should be able I should be able to just smack this with a hammer, and it should go down. So, look at that coloring that we have in the top. I really like that. So, hopefully, guys, I should be able to smack this with a hammer, and it should come out. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap around the outside. You know, just for good measure, so it might get a little shaky, guys. Sorry. All right, it's still in there. But you can see how a little bit of the resin got underneath here. So that would just flake off. So it seems like on the outside, it seems like it wants to come off. And this is where I didn't put any kind of mold release or anything. Um, one of the main problems is Alumalite doesn't really shrink um, as it cures. So that's one of the reasons why we get uh, a real tight fit on the PVC. But let's see what we can do about just smacking this out of here and coming up with an actual casted piece of resin. You can see it moved. It's going to be a little rough going. So, um, but at least it worked. So I'm going to have to beat this to get it out. So this is where it's going to go to some music for you guys. So, oh, there we go. Here we go. Maybe no music needed. Look at that. There we go. We have resin. And it is casted. And it is not bad. Just hopefully I did it right. And right here where you can see where the uh, seam is. I'm hoping that that's going to work out. So we'll have to see what happens with that. But... It seems like everything looks pretty good. So, you can see how it has a little bit on the outside from when I poured the black over it. So, I want to see if I can get some of this off of there. And hopefully, that doesn't mean that this is going to separate on me. But I don't think it will. So, you can see I dug into it. looks pretty good. So... It looks like that double pour that I did is going to hold up pretty good. So, there we go. I really love the way that these two colors come out together. So, there we are, guys. So, as you can see, my first mold came out pretty good. Um, we'll definitely see once I get it on the lathe. You know what happens with that bottom half the black half of it so um guys hope you liked it hope you enjoyed don't forget like comment and subscribe hit the notification bell because there's going to be more stuff like this on my channel so once again guys hope you enjoyed and see you next time get in your shop and make something have a nice day guys